remain standing for the national anthem, performed by Big Sky's Brady McBride, Tegan Soul, Peyton McVicker, and Gabe Lippy. Please welcome to the stage Superintendent of Missoula County Public Schools, Dr. Rob Watson. You can be seated. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for your patience this morning. For those I have not met, my name is Rob Watson. As superintendent of MCPS, it is my sincere privilege to be with you here today celebrating the 2021 graduates. We at the Zula County Public Schools acknowledge that today we are gathered on indigenous territory. The Missoula Valley was historically inhabited by the Salish, Kootenai, Andre, and Kalispell people, as well as many other tribes, including the Blackfeet, Shoshone, Crow, Nespers, and Kiawa, that frequently pass through this area. We honor the original stewards of this land and their descendants, many of whom are with us today. At MCPS, we are committed to showing gratitude for this land and its indigenous people by respecting and remembering this in our conversations, our activities, and in our events. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage, Ukiah Bellardi and Walker Winterburn, Big Sky Student Body Hall President.
Corinthians. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Yukai Velardi, and this is Walker Winterburn. We are this year's student body co-presidents, and we want to give a huge thank you to all of those in the stands today. On behalf of these soon-to-be graduates, we could not be more appreciative of the love and support you have given us over the years. Next, we would like to thank some of the big sky staff, the beautiful women in the front office who will always put up with the two of us. The amazing, amazing custodial staff who are always there to help us set up and, and take down everything we did. And, and our teachers, teachers who push us to be better students, but more importantly, they push, push us to be better people. We can't, can't thank you enough for the work that you do. And, and lastly, we would like to thank our principal, Jennifer Courtney. I have gotten the privilege to work much closer with Ms. Courtney this year with Student Gov. And I am grateful for the work she does for this school. Her open-mindedness, positivity, and love for each Fairchild student is inspiring. And I would like to give her a round of applause for all she does for Big Sky. Thank you. Walker and I didn't know at first how to start preparing for this day. How do you sum up the last four years into one speech? This, this is something I've thought about for a long time. time. Some, Some of us have known each other since preschool. Some, Some we met at freshman orientation. You, you might have met some of your closest friends in sporting events or clubs. And then you might see people today that you don't even recognize. And, and it doesn't matter who you know or you don't know, but what matters is, is that you are here. We all walked the halls of the big sky together. We all came together freshman year, bright-eyed and full of excitement. And we all walked out senior year feeling triumphant and full of joy. But man, oh man, have I never been more exhausted in my life. And it is you today who has worked hard, who has put in the effort and sacrifice to be standing here today. Graduating is an accomplishment in and of itself. Whether you're here today with your ID diploma, your HSA diploma, whether you're a part of drama, cheer, music, key club, COSA, EPA, speech and debate, Mama UN, student government, or any other club at Big Sky, even if all you did was show up and pass your classes, you still put in the work to be here today. You are the class of 2021. As we spend our last hours together as Big Sky students, we want to leave you with some things to remember as we start this new journey in life. But the first thing we want to leave you with is to never forget the relationships you built at Big Sky. Well, let's look to your left. And now to your right. These are the people who have motivated you to get here today. High school and the people you met here will always be a big part of your life. Over the last four years, you have been shaped and molded into the person you are today because of who you surrounded yourself with. We all owe it to our friends and family that we get to stand on this stage today. Soon, we will be in close proximity with each other, but the bonds we built aren't going anywhere. And I encourage you to keep in touch with those who have supported you over the last four years. This group of individuals is capable of so much. And I can't wait to see what the future has in store for each and every one of you. The second thing we want to leave with today is to never underestimate what you can accomplish. Walker and I will keep the COVID talk light, but this year, this class was not dealt an easy hand. Despite that, we still found creative ways to support each other. If, if it was possible to have too much school spirit, we, we came in close with the amount of spirit we see we had this year. We showed up to as many sporting events as we could. Even, Even if that meant sitting on top of our cars to watch our boys play football, football watching live streams of basketball games, or, or taking sports updates from, from the Instagram page. We, we watched virtual recordings of our choir, band, and orchestra, and we even supported our drama department as they're doing productions in the parking lot. We found ways to be there, there for each other when we needed it most. For me, I realized how much you can do with a common goal. Walker 
Parker and I tried hard to make this year fun and to do as many things as COVID would allow us. But I realize now that it didn't matter all that much what we did, it only mattered who we were with. One of my favorite memories from this year was when we did the senior barbecue during our last year week in May. It was so refreshing to see people together having fun and hanging out. And the fact that we had a prom this year was incredible. I owe so much to the staff that helped make it all possible. I stressed and stressed for so long trying to make every detail perfect. And the beautiful, the venue was beautiful, right? But I truly believe that it didn't matter what prom looked like. It only mattered that we were together. Together, we made this year everything was meant to be and so much more. I wrote down these few examples. You can see by, by putting your mind to hard work and never giving up, you can do anything. The last thing we want to leave with today is to not be afraid to try new things. Over the last month of the school, the simple reminder has been brought to me a lot. I heard it first from this winter who told us that there are very few decisions that you can't change. It's important to realize that there are always going to be decisions you will have to make in life. Some will be harder than others, but don't be afraid to make those hard decisions. Shoot to the stars and live life boldly. As a freshman, I thought this day would never come. But with a blink of an eye, we're here. Life's never been slow down. You get to tackle each day going forward. Don't waste your time being afraid to try new things. Be bold, be brave, and then make every day count. But the fun part about graduating is that you've got writing a new chapter of your life. Now, with the things in your hands, what story do you want to write? Thank you for an amazing four years. Please remember that you have a bigger impact on people than you think. You're remembered by the way you make people feel. Make the people around you feel loved and accepted, and they will respect you for that. I truly believe that this class is remarkable in so many ways. Each and every one of you has made a huge impact on my life and the person I am today. You all give me the motivation to keep working hard and to be the best version of myself, and I can't thank you enough for that. The biggest high school class of 2021 will be remembered, and I can't be more proud to be standing here with you all today. Congratulations, class of 2021! Thank you to Ukiah and Walker. Welcome to the 2021 commencement ceremonies for Big Sky High School. You made it. After a morning like this, you made it. Your parents and your families, you all made it. What an amazing day. My name is Jennifer Courtney, and I'm the principal of Big Sky High School. I'd like to take a moment to introduce those behind me on the stage. I'd ask that you please hold your applause until all of our guests have been introduced. Superintendent, Dr. Rob Watson, Board Chair Lorenzen, Trustee Hobbins, Trustee Wake, Trustee McDonald, and Trustee Old Person. Also joining us on stage, Cameron Johnson, Assistant Principal, Melina Helmer, who will announce the roll call, and Ariel Cornelius, our staff speaker. We are here today to celebrate your hard work, the dedication, and the successes of the class of 2021. This class taught me about Amy Green. He once said, it, it turns out, out somehow there are a tremendous number of things to be optimistic about. Your, your ability to be optimistic, despite whatever obstacles may have been in your way, shows the power that each and every one of you carry, your, your own pathway to success. I'd like to take a moment to celebrate those achievements. And as each group stands, please give them a round of applause. Can our 4.0 students please stand?
Would our international baccalaureate diploma candidates please stand? Would those students wearing the gold honor cords for academic awards please stand? Would those students wearing the blue and white honor cord for the National Honor Society please stand? Would those students wearing the blue and gold honor cord for Quill and Scroll and Thespian please stand? Would those students wearing the yellow stool at the Health Science Academy please stand? Would those students who plan to enter the workforce upon graduation please stand? Would those students entering the military please stand? And would those students who plan to go on to post-secondary education please stand? These achievements and opportunities wouldn't be possible without the support of the Big Sky staff. They're watching you right now. Your teachers, your paraeducators, Miranda, your counselor, our custodians, kitchen staff, and office staff. But especially to the families, friends, and community of these Big Sky graduates, please give yourself a round of applause. Today is your day to be awesome. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Now, please enjoy Big Sky's Assyrian Choir and Sky Blues, directed by Nancy Labby. Thank you. 
We are so honored today to be joined by our staff speaker, Ariel Cornelius. Ariel has spent the past eight years at the Big Sky teaching math, coordinating the Health Science Academy, and recently began to pursue her administrative license. She's an incredible asset to Big Sky staff and students, and we are so honored to have her today speaking to our graduates. Please join me in welcoming Ariel Cornelius. Good morning, Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Good morning Big Sky families, guardians, students, our NCPS staff, our trustees, and of course, our Big Sky colleagues. I'm so very fortunate to be here today, to be able to talk to all of you, especially our class of 2021. I was also very thankful to be involved in many of their lives being able to teach and to just watch these amazing students grow. Thank you, parents, for just sharing them with us and trusting us to teach these students. I'd like to begin today by just taking a moment and then reflecting. We're reflecting on your growth the last four years. At the beginning of your freshman year, I remember welcoming all of you. And as you crossed into the threshold of the last entryway of the big sky, I remember some students were so excited. There was a smile beamed across their face. Um, they filled the building with laughter as it echoed through the hallway. And then there were others who were really timid. Some even scared to be there. Some students didn't even know how to navigate the hallway or figure out how to access the locker. And I'm sure there are many of you that fell between both of those. Although you guys continued through your freshman year, we had students that loved and enjoyed every moment. We also had students who struggled. Some of you may have even failed some classes. We even had students who weren't able to see or to socially interact. And then some of our athletes didn't know how to even begin to start in their sport or to stand in the proper position. And then we had some students who felt like they were put into a box, into lower classes. Well, I can say that as I watched the sunset last night with the senior class, I recognize how far all of you have come. All of the achievements you had to do and your dedication to get here today. That our students, for those students put in the box, I have seen so many of you break that ceiling and then take classes that challenge you beyond your belief. That a student who couldn't talk now goes into the office and says hello and brings so much joy. We also have students that have achieved academically. We're getting presidential scholarships, other academic scholarships. Our athletes who couldn't necessarily stand in the same place place in different sports. And then they're also getting scholarships. I also want to recognize that our Special Olympics were able to dedicate so much time this year and actually get to compete. Our students accomplished so much. And you are absolutely all amazing, and I'm so thankful you all made it here. And again, all these achievements and met the struggles, tears, hard work, and a lot of communication, dedication, there's one element that I think all these students needed to get here, and that's our community. 
Big Sky here by being part of our marvelous community at Big Sky, and of course the Missoula community. Everyone of you here in the stadium today, and those of you watching at home, made an impact for these students. Graduating seniors, you have also built very strong bonds with your friends, your peers, and your staff that will never be forgotten. When, when times were tough and when tears filled your eyes, you leaned on each other. When, when you found obstacles too large to overcome, you found teachers, counselors, coaches, and administrators, and then so many more I can't even list, to break down the barriers piece by piece and then using those pieces as a stepping stone to get to the pathway of success. There were also community members and families that came together to help you learn new skills that will take you outside of our building. With that being said, this is my advice to you. With the graduating class of 2021 is to grow your circle and your community. As you progress through the adventure and journey outside of high school, make sure you smile. Um, find people who will build you up and support you through any challenges you might face. Find those who will help you achieve your goals, motivate you, heal you, but also help you become a better person. Return the favor and help others around you. You can also do this by keeping these bonds here, keeping them strong. And as you go on, do the same with new bonds, building strong, positive relationships. Again, smile, make eye contact, and be kind to everyone you meet. Have face-to-face -face conversations. Listen without distraction. Put the phones away. <laughs> In a popcorn bias or a caddy if needed. <laughs> Apologize when you are wrong or make a mistake. We all do them. And of course, take ownership over your actions. By doing these things, you're able to build a strong personal community. But those bonds can expand into other communities and create change in your neighborhood, your city, or even your state, just depending on your goals. You guys all have the opportunity to make big change. Graduating class of 2021, congratulations. You have all come so far, and I can't wait to see you reach your goals. I will now officially present the Big Sky class of 2021 for graduation. By the authority vested in me as Superintendent of Missoula County Public Schools, it is my pleasure to present to the Board of Trustees the graduating class of 2021 having met all the requirements for graduation under district policy and the Montana Board of Public Education standards. Graduates, as directed by your usher, please stand, approach the stage, and receive your diplomas. Congratulations.
Just as the first throw. Jeremy Robert Albertson, Tanner Edward Albertson, Patrick James Allen, Mason Cole Anderson, Lynn Marie Andrine, Jared Allen Donovan Beguizen. Danner James Ballinger. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Jaden Fern B. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Ukiah and Melina Bellardi. Haley Ann Bennett. Jonathan Donald Bentel. Riley Emerson Brunel. Evan Colin Bishop. Joseph Scott Boehner, Zachary James Boggs, Trenton George O'Bresley. Jordan Patrick Bowler, Elijah Benjamin Broom, Matthew Henry Thomas Brown, Nikaya Kahana Castro Brown, Tanner Jaden Brown. Trey Blakely Brown, Ethan Talbot Brush, Ethan Daniel Burgad, Kira Rose Burgess, Elijah Lane Burton. Seth Owen Bird, Jeremiah Paul Campbell, Mara Jade Elizabeth Campos, Tara Lynn Carlson, Caden Troy Carpenter. Satori Lane Carson, Nicolette Grace Cathy, Amy Marie Chilcote, Shane Lloyd Stanley Crescenson. Marissa Taylor Lynn Clark. Robert Wes Clay. 
Mason. Drew Allen Toth. Eagle Design Award winner, Candy Renee Cohen. JC Ann Conrad. Tristan Matthias Cook. Eva Medallion Award winner, Lily Bell Corcoran. Macy Caslin Corona. Olivia Faith Crago. Danica Joan Michelle Kramer. Madison Rose Crandall. Draken Cade Crawford. Aaron Lee Curran. Andrew Lee Curran. Cameron Taylor Cutting. West Love Daniel. Dominic Elijah Danzer. Diona Ray Davidson. Raylan Elise Dawson. Grace Marie Denman. Brooklyn Renee Marie Ducharme. Caden Michael Ducharme. Christian Philip Dill. Maxwell Allen Debrowski. Katie Nicole DeVico. Silas John Ansel. Loudon Robert Erskine. Zachary Allen Flinky. Mackenzie Lane Colvin. Johnny Wayne Foster. Lisa Lene Hudson. Ethan Roy Heath Gibbonheim. Carter Russell Lee Granroy. Elliot Lillian Grossi. Chase Bannon Guthrie. Maximus Bradshaw Halter. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Marissa Anna Parker. Kayla Nicole Harvey. Jacob James Heggers. Ava Arlene Heinzelman. Eva Medallion Award winner, Sasha Deline Helmer. Valeria Amasai Hernandez. Natalie Evelyn Hare. McKenna Nicole Hewitt. Jacob Robert Hibbets. 
Bethany Gazette Hicks. Sienna Rain Hill. Benjamin Jacob William Herding. Reed Curtis Hodge. Jace Edwin Holzenbeck. Kaylee Ann Holzenbeck. Marinda Catherine Holgate. Chloe Renee Holland. Davian Anton Howard. Isabella Christine Hubbard Jandick. Eva Medallion Award winner, Zadia Aston Hughes. Eva Medallion Award winner, Sean Majid Hughesby. Vanessa Rose Isaacson. Lauren Cartwright Jager. Colter James Jonicaro. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Dane Finley Jarrett. Audrey Suzanne Jazenka. Kylie Ann Johnson. Caitlin Suzanne Jones. Julie Ann Joyner. Olaf Milan Matthew Jurisich. Caden Thomas Hammerer. Lennox Trey Keelan. Tennessee Rose King. Ashlyn, Ashlyn Elaine Nyan. Caden Ray Knight. Preston Lane Kuchel. Chaz Cruz Ledoux. Simon Venus Lafont. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Vegas Cortez Longtree Bear Cub. Donna Lee. Marissa Kylie Lennon. Caden Craig Leon Vargas. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Reagan Grace Lindley. Haley Ann Lindquist. Ethan Anthony Lindsay. Gabriel Ryan Lippy. Leah Marie Bogle. Carly Anna Lockard. Cade James Lovson. Christian Robert McGee. Tyler Mason Manhattan. Carson Wayne Manti. Kyle David Martins. Benjamin Lawrence Marks. Alyssa Selin Matson. Oswald Jr. May. Eagle Medallion 
award winner, Brady Ronald McBride. <laughs> Travis James McCann. Matthew James McClung. Ian William McClure. Kaylee Ann Magaman. Avery Ann McGurl. Kennedy Captain McKiernan. Kylie John McLean. Peyton Andrew McVicker. Colton Thomas McWilliams. Rowan Bastion Cole Medina Lee. Naya Jean Meter. Hunter John Meinzen. Kristen Roderick Mendenhall. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Paige Lauren Mickelson. Madison Ray Milliken. Torin Jeffrey Mulder. Mason Peter Portello. Jaden Paul Mudro. Mitchell Ross Meralt. Logan Isaac Murphy. Maya Elizabeth Nash. Christian Justin Murray Medeschek. Brandy Renee Noble. Casey J. Nichols. Trenton George O'Gresley. Alexander James Olson. Gabe Christopher Olson. Isaac Gunner Omlin. Nathan Albert Asalini. Alexis Ann Parks. Bryce Dylan Parks. Shane Austin Pickett. Zachariah Warren Dale Pijanowski. Zoe Gabriel Poindexter. Kaylee Lynn Pratt. Jacqueline Puente Chavez. Gwyneth Annabelle Perrier. Megan Marie Quinn. Whitney Angeline Rees. James Henry Jimino Reynolds. Kyler Freeman Richards. McKenna Randy Jean Riley. Abby Elise Riska. Jacqueline Reese Robbins. Logan Marie Roberts. Zachary Thomas Rowland. Corbin Elizabeth Sandow. Jamie Adair Sanders. Deisha Joy Sasek. 
Logan Douglas Shelley. Heidi Talon Schultz. Heidi Michelle Sherman. Janelle Rose Schissler. Landon Eugene Skalski. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Josh Caleb Smalley. Amanda Ray Smurker. Maxwell Daly Smith. Haley May Snodgrass. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Tegan Michael Saul. Kira Marie Susie. Alexis Nicole Starks. Skylar Finbar Sullivan. Jaden Thomas Summerfield. Isabella Marie Seville. Brock Conrad Taylor. Preston Ann Taylor. Allen, sorry. Chase Ryan Tolson E. Maya Rose Toon. Fiona Jade Morrow. Evan Mark Chow. Kevin Tran. Allison Joe Turner. Cole Jonathan Turner. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Annika Joy Van Regenwater. Tashi Bang. Shua Elizabeth Bang. Jacob Daniel Van Pelt. Alana Rose Wagner. William Preston Ward. Benjamin Reese Watson. Kelsey Aaron Weingart. AJ Wellman. Sarah Mackenzie Wheatley. Gabriel Kane Wiles. Kyle Seth Williams. Aiden Blue Winterburn. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Walker William Winterburn. Benjamin Michael Wolf. Samantha Lee Wright. Zachary Thomas Yasla. Alexis Marie Zarnik. Donovan Ray Zavala. Trevor Michael Zimmerman. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Olivia Rose Fitchner. Eagle Medallion Award winner, Madison Jewel McDonald.
Olivia Fitcher and Madison McDonald, and we are truly honored to be able to provide the last few words for our graduation ceremony. First, we would like to thank staff of Big Sky High School on and off the stage. Your perseverance and kindness throughout the course of the past four years has been insurmountable. Thank you for teaching us to be kind to the Secondly, we would like to thank the University of Montana for allowing us to utilize the Washington Grizzlies Stadium for our graduation ceremony. And in a moment of uncertainty, the support of our community has helped us get back on our feet. Thirdly, on behalf of the class of 2021, we would like to thank our support systems back at home. This could be your parents, grandparents, siblings, aunts and uncles, stepmoms and stepdads, cousins, and maybe even friends. Without our families, biological or not, we could not have walked across the stage without you. As we begin to move on to this new chapter in our lives, we have realized that more than ever, we must become thankful. And in while becoming thankful, we have realized that everything is limited. Our time in high school is limited. Our time in athletics and clubs is limited. Our time in college or the job or whatever you go on to do is limited. I remember that an upperclassman once told me my freshman year to enjoy the time you have here because before you know it, you'll be a senior. I really did not believe her, but now that I'm standing in front of you, I understand. I understand how quickly time moves. I hope to carry this message with me throughout the rest of my life. I hope that makes you appreciate the time I do get. I hope to appreciate every tiny moment of college. I know every day is not going to be a great one, but I still wish to be grateful on those days. I hope to be grateful for every day that I get. And this begins today. Eagles, it's been real, but it's time to leave the nest. Please rise. Let me now turn your tassels. Congratulations, class of 2021. Congratulations. Thank you so much for being here today. Our graduates will exit through the tunnel they entered in. We would ask our families and guests to please meet them out front of the Adams Center. Thank you.